Hell with socks. The slime was driving around there last night and I got stopped by a guard. And up and everything comes over and goes, hello, hello, hello. What have we got here then? I said, well, I have two small kids and uh, it's bed limit bedtime, Shay Reggie. So I tend to go out for a drive and let Marjorie deal with it because, you know, the women are better at this stuff. Oh, I hear you, sir. I've actually got two smallies myself. Uh, can I ask if you've been outside your five kilometre limit today, sir? Uh, why do you ask? I said, well, I've reason to believe you've been in the countryside, so you've got some horse shit there on the back of your tyre. I said, I don't know why I was over a man, you know yourself. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, you're nicked, mate. Uh, and pursuant to the COVID Restrictions Act 2020, I'm obliged to tell you I'm now about to seize your limited edition Range Rover. I said, you are not. Two words for me and you could be doing traffic duty in Mullingar. Out of Christ, would you look at the face on you? He pulls down the mask. It's Sean Mike, Sean Mike, O'Shea, O'Shea. I was only pretending to be a cop. I said, and what's with this shit English accent? He said, out of fuck, we don't need one channel growing up in West Curry. I got addicted to the bill. And why are you pretending to be a cop? Said, in fucking vaccinations, should they're lashing them into people over there in Parky Creeve. I am hoping that if I stand outside here, if they've any left over, they might give me the jab. And if this doesn't work, I'll, uh, I might pretend to be a teacher. Oh, hang on. They're fucking give me the call. I'll go. I hope it isn't the AstraZeneca now. He turns around. Oh, sorry, I was just dealing with an old villain. The prick. Right, so I was driving home anyway, thinking, you know, teachers and guards getting up the vaccine queue. I don't think so. Captain's Cork Industry straight into emergency session and we've now issued the following statement and uh, it's on the head of notepaper again so, so they can't ignore it. Now, the Captain's of Cork Industry demands to be bumped up the queue for vaccines uh, considering all the work we've done maintaining standards in Ireland. Who can forget our Better Grammar billboard campaign aimed at Norries last year? You'd be talking yourself out of a job, right? Lifted half the city out of poverty as far as I can tell. Seriously, what have the teachers ever done for us? Except going, Ed, there's an E now because your father paid for the new chemistry labs. No, the, I don't think there's any point in getting an education. It's not what you know in, in Ireland, but who you don't. Know, you know yourself. As far as I can see, the only thing the guards ever do is marry a nurse, buy a three-bed semi and carry tool and give their kids names like Fionan, even if it's a girl. You know, cruelty. So we hereby demand the vaccine before everyone else. Statement ends. Um, so that's it, guys. Now, look, just in case that doesn't work, I'm going to pretend to be a teacher myself. So what do you think would be a good name for a teacher on the Black Rock Road?